Hey everybody, it's Alan, and I hope that you are doing well. It's been a while. In fact, it's been too damn long since we've done a Chicago song. As much as I love them, it's been a while. I can't believe it's taken me this long to get back to doing a Chicago song for y'all. So we're going to do a song that I've always loved, especially Terry's guitar tone at the end of this song. It's a song called Fancy Colors.
As a Chicago fan, that song has just about everything you could possibly want in it, from that lingering opening to that really, really tight, taut ending. You got amazing vocals. You got that laid back vibe to it. The funk groove kicks in. The horn section parts are absolutely perfect. Terry Katz's guitar playing is ridiculous, of course. Danny Serafin's got a phenomenal drum fill at the very end of the song, a little drum solo at the end of the song, but also fills throughout the entire song, laying his sort of his jazz pedigree into the rock genre that, that Chicago was at the time. And then, and then Peter Cetera's bass lines, just fantastic. But one of my favorite parts of this song is the acoustic guitar stabs that Terry Kath throws in during his guitar solo. It's right about here. Check this out. We have so very far away. get a little Robert Lang keyboard solo first. And the thing is, those acoustic guitar stabs kind of come in a little bit on the late side, and they're really mostly punctuated right at the beginning, where they're right in the forefront. And then as the mix goes on, it kind of fades back behind Terry's guitar riff. And check it out again. Oops. Yeah, right about there. Go back a little further. It just kind of gets buried back a little bit further in the mix. And I know, I know it's a subtle thing, but again, that's just that sort of layering of an extra part in there that not everybody would pay attention to, but it just kind of, it kind of clicks, it kind of hits. It's, it's, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it other than it's just sort of a genius, subtle addition to the track that so many people will overlook. As a matter of fact, I want to hear it all one more time right here. Right after Robert Lamb's little organ film, right at the beginning. Now. Again, it's just one of those subtle things. It's like, who thinks to do that? Who thinks to just put a little acoustic riff in there going, but up, but up, but up. I mean, in a way, it's kind of like, uh, I know this isn't it. I know this isn't it. But it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like that riff from Jaws, you know, do dun, do dun. You know, it's just, it's not quite as ominous as that, of course, obviously, but it's, again, it's a really interesting thrown-in part that is subtle, but in its context, really, truly perfect. Damn. I got to play more Chicago on here. I don't want to say more Chicago. I got 65 Chicago videos on here. I don't know why I think I, I need to do more, but... I'm going to do more. I'm I'm not going <laughs> to, I promise it's not going to be weeks between this song and the next one. So 
Anyway, with that said, hope you all enjoyed this. Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. We can talk about it further. Just know that I appreciate all of you, and I wish you well. Take care.